So if you clicked on this video, you probably heard of a lot of different fat loss advice. You probably heard of get in a caloric deficit, count your macros, create a meal plan, do fasting, do keto, go high carb, low carb, low fat, paleo. You probably heard of all of that and maybe even a hundred different diets on top of that. And now in this video, what I'm gonna do is I wanna give you the most honest fat loss advice you'll ever hear. And this is fat loss advice that I wish I heard when I started my fitness journey instead of going down this deep rabbit hole of magic diets, empty promises, quick fixes and hacks that had me waste years on trial and error thinking something is wrong with me, thinking that I'm not cut out for it, that I can't get those types of results, that I can't get down to 10% body fat, that I can't have the body and the physique and the health that I want. And this piece of advice, if I heard it earlier, I believe it would really change my perspective and it would have empowered me. And here's how it goes. So if you're someone who wants to get an extraordinary result in your life, if you're someone who wants to get down to 10 or 12% body fat, you wanna lose 40, 50, 60 pounds, 70 pounds, even more, the process of doing that is going to suck at some point. And your power lies in the ability to accept the fact that it sucks and to continue doing the work. And let me break this down for you. Just give me a second here. So I'm saying that it's not gonna be easy. It's going to be hard. But once you accept the fact that it's going to be hard, you're gonna stop looking for the magical hack. You're gonna stop looking for quick fixes like I did and actually apply myself and put in the work and get better at putting in the work and empower myself and build my confidence and build myself up mentally to have more resilience and persistence. And then I actually got the goal. Instead of me looking for a quick fix and for the easiest way to do that, I actually made myself stronger. So it didn't matter how hard it was. It didn't matter what was the approach, I'm gonna do it. And in fact, I started viewing it as a challenge. I started thinking, so what if it's hard? I'm gonna do it because it's hard. I want it to challenge. I actually want to pick the harder approach because I wanna empower myself and I don't wanna back off from that challenge and I know that it's gonna make me grow not just physically but mentally. And this is something that really changed the game for me. And I know you might say, well Mario, you know, there's this guy saying you can lose 30, 40, 50 pounds, no restrictions, no cutting out your favorite foods, no exercise whatsoever. That's called copywriting. There is no such thing as getting to 10 to 12% body fat without any kind of restrictions. There's no such thing. These are marketers. This is not the reality, all right? So I know that it might seem like when clever marketing, especially if you're coming off a weekend binge and you had a really rough time and then you're emotional, you're like, oh damn it, I just wanna make a change. Then you go there and you buy that $30 ebook that promises rapid, aggressive fat loss or whatever, and you wanna do that, but you're thinking emotionally, you're not thinking objectively, because there is no such thing as getting something without giving something. There's no such thing as getting an extraordinary result without sacrifice. And this doesn't just apply to fat loss. This is not just fat loss advice, this is life advice. If you wanna build a business and to become an entrepreneur, you know how that looks like? 10 to 12 hour days, for many, many weeks and years in a lot of cases until you get your business successful. And in that time, you're sacrificing nights out with your friends, movies, keeping up with TV shows, gaming, lots of different things you gotta say no to, relationships you gotta sacrifice to build that successful business. Same as you wanna advance your career. Where's that time gonna come from that you have to work on your skills when you go back home, that you have to say no to your loved ones and people around you in order for you to have time to network and go out there and improve yourself, build your reputation so you get that promotion. So all of these things that anything, look, you wanna get something in your life, you wanna get something that's above average, you gotta sacrifice, you gotta put in hard work. and. It's the same with dieting, it's the same with business, it's the same with relationships. There's always ups, downs, and challenges you have to overcome. And that's really the truth. You have to be able to accept the downside, accept the limitations, accept the fact that it's going to be difficult, and then apply yourself and do it anyway. So what if you have to be hungry a little bit? That's it, like you just be hungry, get stronger, be better. And that's the thing that really empowered me. And I'm telling you, you can do this. As someone who's worked with hundreds of individuals, I help guys from all over the world, from like different countries, situations, lifestyles, professions, businesses. I work with a lot of entrepreneurs, professionals that are traveling the world. You can do this. Like nobody's cut from a different cloth when it comes to fitness. You can always maximize your own result. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. You can maximize your own situation if you do things in the smart, right way, but don't be afraid of putting in hard work. Don't strive to always find the easy way because in some cases, there is no easy way. You have to do the hard thing and there's no easy option. You have to just go there and do it. You have to apply the work. And that's my message here. And if you enjoy this message, I would really appreciate it if you hit that uh, thumbs up below. It would really help with the video and the YouTube algorithm. It really does help 
when you show support as well as leave a comment below if you resonate with this message if this is something you fell for as well i'd really love to hear from you in the comments below i do spend time in the comments so would really appreciate that other than that if you really enjoyed this video i think you're going to enjoy this video that i'm going to he leave here at the end as well which is going to talk about more fat loss so definitely check that out other than that i will see you in that next video